Hello friends, in this lecture we will be talking about the different aspects of protocol writing. The protocol is an important document upon which the future research will be based upon and the correctness of the protocol is going to reduce the time which is required for performing the research by getting the necessary approvals timely. So therefore clinical research has to be conducted in accordance with a plan and that action plan is documented nicely in the protocol. So clear guidelines must be demonstrable in that document. This document needs approval by the institute ethics committee or institute research board as appropriate with the satisfaction that the research project is worth undertaking for scientific gains. The investigators have the necessary experience and the competence to do this research. There are no ethical violations or infringements of participants rights and the requirements and limitations are adequately explained in this document. Now in order to do that you have to write a research protocol and all of these are, can be documented nicely in the research protocol. So once the study is launched the protocol cannot be changed and whatever is written in the protocol should be strictly adhered. So what purpose does this protocol serve? One, it raises the question to be researched and clarifies its importance. To the member who is sitting in the institute ethics committee and looking after plenty of such uh, submissions, it is very difficult to go in depth and study all the details before nodding to your proposal. Therefore, protocol serves the purpose of highlighting those things which are important for the sake of research. It serves as a guide throughout the research. Then another important aspect of protocol that it helps you to give you an account of the time and the budget that are necessary to perform this study. A correctly drafted protocol increases the likelihood of scientifically sound conclusions being drawn from the subject of research and that is the purpose of submitting a well written protocol in time. There are various components of the protocol and if you go to the individual websites of ICMR, DBT, DST and the respective institutes, CMC Velour, AIMS, you will find that it is usually displayed on their, on their ethics committee board. And, but the com components are usually the same, one the title, two administrative details, three project summary, four introduction to the research.